It's your girl, Marcy Sun. You know where I'm from. We're back in the building with another banger. So, today, guys, I'm doing Popeyes. Popeyes. I got me a little, you know, my ghetto. Coke with a splash of lemon. Okay. And we have macaroni and cheese today. We're gonna put that on, on the plate. Oh, oh. Look at all that cheese. Yes, God. All right. And we also have potatoes with gravy. We're gonna put that out on the plate. So y'all can get a better with you okay all right so before we do anything of course we're going to pray dear heavenly father we thank you so much for bringing us this food today we ask that you make it nourishment to our body we want to let you know that we love you and we thank you for what you're about to do what you are doing and what you have yet to done to do um we love you and we thank you so much we praise you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Y'all know that's the fat girl dance. If you hear a little tickering, a little ticker totter, ticker totter, that is Lexi walking around here trying to figure out what little bit she can get. All right. So I'm going to put some hot sauce on my chicken wing. I got to... I got a chicken sandwich too, y'all. Look at this. Oh. But I'm gonna save that bite for later. You know me. I like hot sauce and honey. Comment below how you like your pop ass. I also got some blackened ranch in the building, guys. Mm-hmm. And I'm a flat girl. I always go for the flat first. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Look at that. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all. So, how y'all doing today? Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I could have helped the cook in the kitchen, but you know how it is ordering macaroni and cheese from big corporations. It ain't like rainy. And it's kind of like you already know that, so you know what to expect kind of when you eat Mm -hmm. I'm Ashley, y'all. I just got out the shower. I haven't eaten all day. So, to my new subscribers, hey! I'm Marcy, son. Welcome to my channel. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Let's try that ranch. Mm. Mm -hmm. Here in my channel, we do challenges, mukbangs, motivation. We also do fitness for the fatties. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you know what? We're a tribe. More, more than a channel. We are a tribe. Because I pray that everybody that has subscribed to me is someone that not only loves people, but loves to love on people. Because that is me. I'm a big lover. It has definitely knocked me in my head at times where I shouldn't have been loving on people that I was loving on. But you know what? It allowed me to be a bigger person and to see a different way of life. A different outlook on life, period. How many of y'all love Popeye's biscuits? Oh, they be so good with the little honey. Oh, look. Mm-hmm. 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 That's a good Sunday dinner, y'all. I'm pretty sure you'll get this video on Sunday, which is the day I'm recording it. I tried to edit, record, and do all that in one day, which I hear from other YouTubers is like suicide, but it is what it is. Ooh. Now I'm a piece of chicken. I need that. Mm -hmm. mm. But. Girl. I have got to cut her nails. I know y'all hear that titty tatter. It's not a baby. It's flexy. But that's my love bug. She around here. She like I smell Popeye's ma, and I be. Mm -mm. Did y'all see that piece of chicken I was saying? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Like I smell Popeye's ma, and I want in. That was good. All right. So, I guess I can chase this chicken sandwich, huh? As many. 
pieces of chicken out of eight. Hi, Lexi. She thinks she's getting a piece. She's not. Now, normally, I'm the mom that will give my dog a piece of chicken or something. Or, you know, a piece with the fatty skin or some, you know, something that they look forward to. But this is spicy chicken. Not my oop. Now, the sandwich is, so. If I have these sandwich left, I will most certainly give her a piece. But, mm. Mm. this is a big ass piece of chicken, y'all. Let's see. Cut it out. She has a whole bowl of food. She just thinks she's supposed to eat what I'm eating. Alright, so here we go, guys. That's pretty good. That's a big piece of chicken, though. So I know I'm super late to the trim, but I wanted to share with you guys the very first time I got a chicken sandwich. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Normally when I get chicken, I go to Sharks or Harold's um, for those that are used to the Chicago way of living. You know, we do things the Harold way. But, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the very first time, I went to go try the chicken sandwich. It was sold out. And every Popeye's I went to, they didn't even tell you. They didn't even tell you that person. They put a sign on the drive through y'all, that said, we'll be back, but we are not here right now. So in other words, we're out of stock. Come back. Try again, motherfucker. Oh, let me cut that out. I'm trying not to cuss on my channel, y'all. But it's hard. I ain't gonna lie. It is hard. I think I should get extra pickles. because it's needed. Them pickles just do something else. They just do something else to you. I don't need all that bread, though. Mm -hmm.
Alright. So, this weekend I got to see Bad Boys for Life. And it was just like absolutely. No, go eat your food, Lexi. That is rude. She's sorry, y'all. Um, I got to go see Bad Boys for Life. I am a very big fan of Bad Boys. I've seen the first one and the second one. So, y'all know how it is when, like, you're a fan and they come out with a third. I was just like, Lord, please. Don't let it be like a flop, you know? But it was really good. I will say this. I did see Gemini Man first. I think it had a lot of similarities. Of course, with him being his son. Like, not my glory. Now, I do know. <clears throat> that in Gemini, man, he was his clone, not his son. But it was just so close in similarities with the movies. I kind of felt like I was watching one or the other, you know. Like, I'm pretty sure if I had seen uh, Bad Boys for Life first, when I finally seen Gemini Man, I would have felt the same way. So, I don't know. I loved it, though. It was a great movie. I do not think that as a third movie, it let it down in any way. Excuse me. I do think that <clears throat> it was still upstanding to the name. However, it makes me sad because Once I seen it done, I felt like there was no reason why Ice Cube and Chris Tucker couldn't come back together for a Friday. Because that was my biggest fear. Like, I know Martin Lawrence and Will Smith are older, and I get it. And me being 32, I even see it, like, especially when I go out. I'll go out to kick it, y'all. And then I'll wake up the next morning like, oh, hell no. When before, I used to be able to wake up like, all right, next day, keep it moving, right? Not no more. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This was a good Sunday meal. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it is what it is. Every, um, every actor doesn't hold the same story. And, um, I believe that that's what's going on with Chris Rock and Ice Cube. They just can't. Get back to that place that they were when they were so young. That if they were to make it, it'll be sloppy. Which I get. 
who wants to make a rendition of something that is so popular and so like highly recommended in the hood for a rendition of it and it's like whack. So I get that. Nobody wants to watch a whack rendition. So that's that. But I will say I'm looking forward to the new Holly Quinn movie coming out. That Coke with a splash of lemon now. Um a splash of lemonade. So I am a very big, 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 big. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, oh. I am a very big, 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 big. Mm, 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 mm. I'm full, y'all. But I'm a very big fan of Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. I always said if I had me a man that was of my dreams when my birthday came around, we would be Harley Quinn and Joker. Also, there are a few things before I go that I want to clear up. I have two other older sisters. I'm sorry, two other older siblings. I have an older sister, Kim, and I have an older brother, Marcellus. They are both from my father. I did not mention them in my previous uh, video, and it was brought up to me, so I want to clear that. I do have three other half-siblings. Tiffany is the youngest. Kim and Marcellus. That they are all from the same father. We all have different mothers. All have different mothers. Um, I do keep in touch with my older sister Kim. I really don't talk that much to my brother Marcellus, but I love him still and all. Um, and also, my grandmother has fifteen children, adopted five. Okay, I know. Yesterday it was said to me as well. That I I mentioned my grandmother having 15 children, which is true. She did. She birthed 15 children. But she also adopted five. So, that was 20 children that she really raised. And that needs to be noted. It does. It needs to be, it needs to be duly noted. Because that is an outstanding woman and husband. All from one man. My grandfather, Willie Brownlow. My grandmother is also an honorary way. Um, here in Chicago, so I wanted to clear those things up because I did not want it to be left open-ended out there as to the truth about some of the statements I made. But other than that, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys subscribe, hit the bell, notification, boop. So that you can know when I'm uploading videos. And I hope that you guys join me again. I really like doing this. And I hope that you like me too. Until the next time. Be blessed. Be safe. And I'll see you later. Never goodbye.